At the moment, we have a situation where there is a negotiation going on, and the political leadership is almost denying that it's happening. And this is a, a negotiation between two parties that failed to beat each other on the battlefield. And they both, in their private briefings to crisis group, admit that, that they can't win militarily. That means that the peace deal is going to be a compromise deal. That means also that the Turkish government has to be a bit more honest about what that compromise is going to consist of. In Crisis Group's latest report, we're very clear that there's two tracks here. One is the Kurdish reforms track for the whole country, to make the whole country a better place with better respect for rights of all language speakers, all ethnic, ethnic groups, and to have no discrimination in the laws or constitution, and uh, to make the political a playing field, a fairer one, to allow the Kurdish party to get into parliament normally. That would be achieved by bringing the national vote threshold down from 10% to 5%, which would allow the Kurdish party in uh, as a normal party, and uh, a number of uh, rights-based reforms as well uh, on decentralization, for instance. Um, that's one track. The second track, which again has to be more thoroughly discussed in public by the leadership, uh, is uh, one which would bring the PKK down from the mountains and establish through negotiations the conditions under which uh, the both sides will feel that justice has been done. And one of the things in our new crisis group report that we're really underlining to the PKK is that you say as the PKK you do not want an independent Kurdish state. Your problem is that the Turkish public thinks you do want one. And when you say as the PKK democratic autonomy, what the Turkish public, which is 75-80% of the population of Turkey, hears is we want an independent Kurdistan. Now, uh, and that's backed up by the fact that it's undeniable that PKK uh, is trying to create parallel state structures in southeastern areas. Now, the PKK cannot have its cake and eat it too. It has to choose whether it wants to be a player in the whole of Turkey, which is what we believe is what most Kurds want, or whether it wants to advocate something special for the southeastern areas, leading probably to an independent Kurdistan. It's its legitimate right to defend such ideas, but it should be clear about it, because the, the, the reason that the PKK does not do this is that it, it senses that the Kurds would not all go with it at that point. So uh, I think it's time for the PKK to be honest with its own uh, uh, constituency about what it's really aiming for.